Hi everyone, Craig Regelberger with American Hort, and we're here in Columbus, smack in the middle of Cultivate 17, and we're absolutely thrilled to have a special guest with us today. Many of you know him, but his name is Ernest Wertheim, and Ernest has had an incredible 97 and a half year life and a 75 year career working with our wonderful industry. Ernest is 97 years old, if I have it right, and traveled all the way from California because he did not want to miss being with you, with us, and with Cultivate. Uh, Ernest is a remarkable man, and the, the remarkable life that he has led was captured in a book that was published a couple of years ago called Chasing Spring. And it chronicles Ernest's life from birth through escaping Germany at the time of the rise of Hitler all the way through serving under General MacArthur in World War II in the Pacific Theater, and then ultimately, um, the, the, the most special thing of all, the 75 years of career that he has spent working with, around, and for our wonderful industry. I really appreciate to have the opportunity to talk to this audience just for a couple of minutes. I want you to remember, we started in 1954 with the first garden center. The word garden center did not exist at that time. In 1958, I was invited to the ANLA convention in Dallas, Texas. I gave a talk to a group that did not know anything about garden centers. And I was laughed out, but I told them, this is going to be the future. And I never missed a meeting since then. In 1981, I was chairperson, co-chairman of the International Garden Center Congress in San Francisco. It, we had a wonderful leader uh, at that time, Mr. Lederer, but he was not internationally oriented. He was very national oriented. And so he needed somebody who took the whole responsibility of dealing with our foreign guests. It was most successful. I didn't miss for many years thereafter going to the international. Very important because we are not alone in this world. In 1970, I received the Hall of Fame award and if people asked me what of the many awards you got, this was the one that I'm most proud of because I was not a nurseryman, I was a landscape architect and we designed garden centers and that award going to an outside member was the most wonderful thing that happened to me. The last thing that I want to say is um, the fame that we got by working in the industry for 75 years was not because I am so good or my team is so good. I couldn't do it without my team, but my success was due to the people in this audience, to the people internationally. They gave us a chance to work with them, and because they were successful, we were successful. And for that, I want to say thank you to everybody for giving us that opportunity. And remember, I'm now 97 and a half. I enjoyed being here today. I don't know where I will be tomorrow, but I want to say thank you and goodbye. That's it. <laughs>